Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast here in Coventry. As Brett McGinty moves 4 0, kicks off the Hennessy Sports Show here tonight. Um, yeah, Brett smiles all around. I'm uh, really happy, Oscar. Um, good to get another one on my record. Um, good to get my first stoppage. It's just one of them things you kind of want to get out of the way as a pro because. You know, some people expect you to go and blast your first three or four away like, like they're nothing, but you know, I've had a tough enough start. Not, you know, I'm not, not saying it's been any tougher than anybody else's, but I've had a couple of good learning fights for myself, and you know, it was nice to get the first stoppage tonight. Is that what it's about at this stage of fighting people with different styles? You're going to get some people negative, some awkward, some open, some busy, some not. So, so it's fighting these different types of, of fights. Well, like, that's the thing about it. I'm, I'm free and all now, and I've what? I've six rounds of my debut for my thing. So I have 13 rounds under my belt all together and I have a stoppage in there as well. So you know, it's, it's, I feel like it's a good experience. My last fight against Dwayne Grant was a learning fight. He was a very good mover, very hard to hit, you know, his upper, upper body movement. And my first fight was a tough one as well, a six rounder. Um, so like, you know, I feel like I'm moving in the right direction. I feel like I'm improving all the time in the gym and I'm starting to, sh I'm starting to show some of them improvements now, you know, in the ring. And talking of styles of fighters, the first two rounds, I could tell at times you were getting a bit like just frustrated. He was, it was a lot of holding. It was very negative from him at times, it? which is quite hard to deal with at times. Yeah, well, see that that's that's one thing. Like I need, I need to learn the hard way, was because like like I'm going in there expecting somebody to have it out with me. Because that's what you were doing in the amateurs against exactly. top amateur boys, against, yeah. against top lads, you know, that are that are in there to win. But what I have this. You know, sort of. I actually realised that tonight more than more than any other fight because in my debut, you know, Jan Arden he came to one as well, and my last fight, Dwayne Grant, I knew it wasn't going to be, he wasn't going to have it out with me because he didn't have the style. But like, I just wanted to, you know, I had I had so much in the tank, you know, that I wanted to let go, and I, I still I didn't even get to let it go. But you know, I just you sort of just need to realise that some of these lads they're not they're not there to have it out with you. They're in there to, to do their job, and that's to get through the fight. But thankfully, I I found a way to get him out of there tonight. And I take it the rest of the year, at least one more fight. I think I saw you say on Hennessy's YouTube channel, you want to be 5-0, and so perhaps squeeze two in for the end of the year? Uh, well, the plan now is to fight the 13th of November and the 11th of December. So the plan is to be 5-0 and by Christmas, uh, Oscar, and hopefully a big year then next year. Um, we'll start, as I say, and move, move, maybe move back up the rounds. Can move up now. Whenever, you know, whenever Ricky's happy for me to do it, I'll do it. And um, ready for a big year. Quick word on Ricky, actually, because I saw, sort of, I, w I was trying to eavesdrop, I didn't really hear much, but I saw he was talking to you a little bit. What sort of stuff has he said about tonight? Uh, well, he was just, he's saying to me just in between each round, like, you're finding a home for the jab, which I was. I was rocking his head back with a jab, but he was saying, he said to me after the second round, he said, just touch him with it now a couple of times. You know, touch him, touch him, touch him, and then drop that right hand to the body, and that's what I've done. And to be honest, that was the fight that, that was kind of the beginning of the end because he never really recovered from that. And to be honest, I never really got any 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 of my best shots in after that because he was just kind of covering up. And you know, I probably rushed myself a wee bit. But you know, we you know, we did call it the T after after the after the second round. But that's that's what Blaine and Ricky are there for. You know, they're in my corner. They they tell me these things. They give me the right advice. And you know, they done that tonight. And thankfully, I was managed to get my opponent out of there. Well, good night for you around. Quick word on your mob because they are a serious bunch, right? I'm telling you that they're, they're, they're unreal. Hey, there's there's almost seventy of them out there, and you would have thought there was seven hundred. Um, you know, each one of them is, each one of them didn't just buy a ticket; they paid for flights and accommodation to get over here, and and the current climate, yeah, which cheap. makes it, you know what I mean? It ain't it ain't cheap, and you know it's not easy either with with COVID and all that there. So I appreciate every single one of them spending their hard-earned money to get here, and you know. At, Walking out, walking out through the curtain. I couldn't. I could hear them a bit in the changing room, but not much. Walk, once I walked out through the curtain, I thought, "Geez, I better be on my game tonight." Well, look, brilliant night for you. Um, seriously, good stoppage as well. And uh, yeah, I know you're gonna have a few beers tonight, so enjoy. Cheers, Oscar. Appreciate it, man.